Hello and welcome to this tutorial for FluidRay. In this video, we will render a jewelry design from Rhino and go over the basics of using FluidRay. Once you have your model ready in Rhino, you can save the file and then go to FluidRay. In FluidRay, you can import the model by clicking the up arrow in the toolbar or by going to File, Import. Then select your model in the File dialog and press Open. Once the model has loaded, you can rotate the camera by dragging the mouse while pressing Ctrl and the left mouse button. To pan, simply press Ctrl Shift and the left mouse button while dragging. Using the mouse wheel zooms in and out. Ctrl Shift E will zoom to selected objects. Control e will zoom to the model extents. Let's start with the scene's illumination. Go to the library panel on the left and select the environment tab. You can drag and drop an environment from the library to the viewport. Try a few different environments to find the best option. To adjust the environment, go to the Environment tab in the Editor panel. Adjust the Gain parameter to change the illumination. Adjust the Rotation parameter to change the orientation of the environment. Next up is Assigning Materials. Go to the Library panel and select the Material tab. Select the Gemstone Library from the drop-down. You can drag a material from the library to the viewport to apply the material. You can also select objects by material. Hold down Shift and left click on an object to bring up some extra options. Then select All By, Same Material. You can also apply materials to this selection. Simply right click on a material to bring up the Assign to Selection option. Select the band of the ring by holding down Shift and left click again. Then select All By, Same Material. Go to the Material tab and select the Polished Metal Library from the drop-down. Right-click the gold material and select Assign to Selection. Now let's save the image, but first let's make it a little brighter. Go to the Renderer tab in the Editor panel on the right. Adjust the game parameter to change the overall exposure of the scene. To save the image, go to File, Save Image, or click the disk icon on the toolbar. And that's it. Thank you for watching our tutorial for FluidRay.